Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to Christian. Happy birthday to Christian. Happy birthday, Christian. Happy birthday to you. Now, everybody else, got to throw in a birthday to Christian Clements. Happy Homebrew Wednesday! Yes, it is! And happy 30th birthday, Christian! Thank you, and uh, thank you, SJ, for that wonderful <laughs> song. I really appreciated it. I did have a good chuckle over that, but thank you. That's that's pretty that's a pretty amazing thing. Mm -hmm. When SJ sends you a video for your birthday, that that feels pretty special. I got to tell you. Hey, it's a big birthday, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 30 only comes once, I guess. So, yeah, he's already feeling the pressure. He told me that he needs to drop weight, because, you know, <laughs> I said I got 10 pounds to lose in my first month of my 30s. <laughs> now I can call it successful 30s already. <laughs> that boy, I'd like, I'd like to be at your weight now. So, anyway, hey, so we just, uh, we just uh, finished racking up some beer, but we need to mention a couple things real quick. One is we are 39 beers away from crowning the winner of the 2014 SJ Challenge for the world. The global Man. winners will be crowned. We still then. have 39 beers to go. <laughs> That's amazing. 39 That's a lot beer. of beer that we've already gone through. That's a lot, of, yeah, the math on that would be really amazing if you really consider how much beer has been shipped around the world. Yeah. A lot of beer, a whole lot of beer. Speaking of it, you see, I got red on, but I got shorts. It's warm. Short sleeves. It's warm. We've been in the 50s here in the day. Yeah. Which is crazy. Uh, we had a pretty good amount of rain. Like, I had to stop during yeah. my run because uh, one of my bridges was flooded over. So. Yeah, I can't believe that. So, with this warm weather, though, we're going to bring out a homebrew from Under the Table Brewing. Right we on. have the Coconut IPA. Oh, nice. Yeah. Coconut IPA. Yep. Well, he's feeling old over there. Had a nice little hiss. All right. The pour. Nice. Oh, so guy, that whoa. just went clear. Look I thought it was going to be hazy, and then it just went clear. Well, this was off the tap, you know, off their keg with their Blickman gun, probably. Well, maybe not, because I got a little haze on mine. So yours looks pristine clear. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dad did the Woo! full pour yeah, there. I got, I got the goodies off the bottom, which I will never refuse. Yeah, well, we can we can trade sips. See now, what now you got to know that this, this is not a young, fresh beer. This was made in the spring. So yeah, uh, that's true. They've been hanging on to this. It's got yeah. a little bit of IBU in there. Yeah, you can you can get some of the hops, which there's a lot of hops in this beer. And I do get some of the pineapple still for sure. Yeah. Well, hopefully you get coconut in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I do get a little pineapple. I definitely pineapple. get pineapple. But you do get some coconut too. Right. I got more pineapple than coconut. Cheers. Now I get the coconut. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get the coconut in there. I remember Nate saying he didn't get as much coconut on his as he thought and I feel really bad now that I didn't get a bottle over to them because ours had a lot of coconut on it. But it ours also seemed super hoppier see than the this. the difference. Okay. Yeah. I think they taste about the same. You might have a little bit more coconut than me. Yeah, I got a little more coconut. Yep. That's nice. I bet that was just amazing fresh. I know the hop levels on this had to have been just freaking off the charts when this was fresh. Yeah, because this still has quite a few IBUs. Yeah, this, this has got a lot of hoppiness to it. Mm. Yeah. That's drinking nice. I'm going to have to make this again and send a bottle out to you guys because I kind of like how ours turned out as well. Ours was really nice, but ours was, I think... I think ours was even hoppier, but it, you know, it was fresher. 
I drank it up. I like yeah, that. he for, barely, for this hardly had much any. hops. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't get very much at all, actually. I maybe got a bottle to drink. Oh, he had more than that, but not much more. So... <laughs> I, I might have it still in my fridge, actually. Yeah, I would believe that, actually. Oh, I'll have to go get that from his fridge and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so the brew that I made with Josh uh, on Thanksgiving Day... Um, was uh, just racked over a little bit ago mm -hmm. into secondary. We're getting ready to bottle. We're doing it after this video. And uh, it it was still like bubbling like once every couple hours. So I probably could have let it go longer. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and go for it. Now it's been a month. And yeah, um, uh, so it, it was surprising though that it finished out at 1.026. So this is the Utter Chaos Milk Stout. And it was supposed to get down to about 1.016. Yeah, which is kind of an utter failure. Yeah, so Utter Chaos, perfect name. And um, we're working on some fun labels there. But that means it's got a lot of residual sweetness. It does. Which, which is fun, so. And, but uh, um, without the carbonation, I thought it was actually pretty nice. It almost tastes like a milk, or uh, it's a milk stout. It almost tastes like a breakfast stout in a way. It's yeah. got some nice charriness, some dark chocolate tones. I yeah, like we it. had a pound of the uh, uh, the lactose in there, and um, you know, I still felt like it could have had more. Mm -hmm. Like we could have put more yeah, in to give it more, a more more creamy flavor. You know, a little more of that milk flavor. So I'll have to do a little more uh, experimenting on that half. Um, mm -hmm. But you know what? Let's just show you just quick show you we actually still do brewing a little footage because people complain about that and we'll come back and try it that's nothing it's floating that's <laughs> oh yeah uh, what is it? it looks like one point two six really that's pretty high. <laughs> Look who's ready for the playoffs. This guy is... Yeah. World champs. This guy came from Tacoma, so it, I, I couldn't let him be a Raiders fan, so... He gets to be a world champ. This has a really nice smell, actually. You can yeah. go ahead and smell that again. Um, yeah, it does. It's got a it lot of nice... chocolate with a, a light roast. Mm -hmm. So you get some nice roast, but the, I think the chocolate and then the lactose really do yeah, shine get, on it. Yeah, you get some uh, some coffee to it and everything. I like it. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. It'll be fun bottling this up and seeing. Go ahead and give that one mm -hmm. a try again. I like it. I think it's a good milk it's stout. Nice. It's nice. You're right. It does have some coffee on it. It does have a little coffee. It has yeah. a little dark chocolate to it, a roast, or like a earthiness to it. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good beer, I think. I mean, yeah, it doesn't even have so. carbonation yet. It's not even chill. And and I, I, yeah, you could sit and drink it like this. This is gonna come out at 6.1%, maybe a tad higher because of the corn sugar for bottling, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can't complain about this. Yes, Josh, man bear pig, you will get some beer sent your way once uh, it gets to the right point. Of course. Oh, right. After I consume half, then I'll send you some. Yeah. Okay. Some. Yeah, I think we're going to make some mead next. I, that's what I want to do. That's fine. So, um, I've been talking prices with SJ and Larry and some of the guys, Larmo22, I should say. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're going to be going for that pretty quickly. Just trying to decide, probably go for a blueberry mead first. Uh, but I'm thinking of doing a three gallon batch because the little one gallon batch of meat I had is like disappearing too fast already. Um, so oh, I wonder why. Not enough. Well, what about this hop swap? All right, so there's a hop swap going on. That's a good point, Christian. If some of you watch Jonah, uh, Uncle Jonah, he is setting up this hop swap and it's more than just really a hop exchange, uh, although that can be part of it where people share their hops that they've grown. But part of the concept of this is that after your plants have grown and matured, 
And then uh, you can get rhizomes off your own plant hmm. that we could be shipping rhizomes of our plants to other people to get other rhizomes if people yeah. are interested in that. Here in Oregon, we have the advantage of we get rhizomes pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a lot of uh, hops grown in this area, but I could have been giving away rhizomes last year to people. Like I have Cascade, no, I could have been giving Centennial, away rhizomes. and Willamette. Yeah, you could have, but you I don't know, know what, what your, my hops your are. Hops are. <laughs> well, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. It's a great idea, maybe to get some other varieties. Well, no complaints around. Good beer, good coconut IPA, good stout, I'd say. Good times. Christmas is coming. Merry Christmas to all, by the way. So Christian's at a Christmas party this year, and he wins a little gift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did win a little gift. I won a 7.1 cubic uh, foot uh, chest freezer, which just Brandon. happens that... That's what Dad's been telling me I need to get to do my taps uh, for taps at my house. So I have one more piece of the puzzle for for more brewing at home. So now it's just I need to get those kegs converted. I need to get the two burners. I need to build a little system. But he he already wired the garage and brought more electrical throughout the garage. Mm -hmm. So he's he's set up to do that. I think. I think he needs to get the kegerator going first, and uh, we could be brewing while he works on the rest of it, personally. It's just now having the time. I have the money, I just don't have the time. So I also need to wish a happy birthday to Paul Romali, whose birthday falls on the same day as Christian's birthday. Oh. So happy, happy birthday, birthday, buddy. Paul. I also want to congratulate Under the Table Brewing. They're having a big party tonight, and... Uh, they are serving the speckled heifer, the Pliny the toddler, fuzzy caterpillar, under the ceiling Scottish ale, and save your stout on tap. And I happen to know they're bottling stuff up for people right now, having a grand party. So Brad and Nate, Merry Christmas to the two of you. Yeah. We just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone around the world, everyone that views. We have a good oh, time yeah. over here always. Thanks for your beers. <laughs> That's it, true. We've been sending a lot of beer over here. It's going to make our Christmas much merrier also. <laughs> I know. I, I lost count. I know we've got over 1,050 subscribers, and I do appreciate it, and I thank you all yeah, thank for you watching. Guys. We're just here having fun. This is just a little Merry Christmas Homebrew Wednesday. We'll do some more brewing stuff soon. Uh, I look forward to doing a mead, and we'll do that one on camera to share with people. We'll do that soon. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. See ya.